Hello, everyone. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to Practice Prayer, Session 2. Today's topic is Lexio Divina. Well, we began last week by discussing what is the first thing that is needed before we engage in prayer. And that is that we have to prepare our minds. What do we think about ourselves? What do we think about God? What are the things going on in our mind? If we are going to engage in prayer, we have to be very clear about that. Because uh, in prayer, what's happening is that we are having an interactive relationship with God. Prayer is the power sharing device that God has given to us so that we can engage with God and God engage with us um, to discern and then proceed in what we and God are doing together. And so that interaction is going on in prayer. And we talked last time about the, the process of, of contemplation as being so important and so central to being able to prepare our minds to engage in that interactive relationship. And the practice of contemplative prayer allows us to dwell in what really is. <laughs> With all the noise of the world and all the things going on in our head, often we get distracted from understanding and resting in what really is. And at the core of what is, is that you are a child of God. We are children of God. And all that we have and all that we are is a gift from God. And so the possibilities, of course, are endless. Through the practice of contemplative prayer, um, we then are moved forward into being able to, to envision what can be, what is possible. And how are we and how is God all a part of that? And so maybe the most frightening moment of our first session was this moment. Because contemplation requires being still. And, and just being with nothing. And having the mind clear being in silence. And that's a hard place for us to be. And so there are techniques that we can use to bring things to our mind that are going to help us get to this time of contemplation. And, and the very first technique, an ancient technique we're going to look at here in this session is called Lexio Divina. And so what we're doing, Lexio Divina, it, it, it's uh, Latin for divine reading. And, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to bring good words into our minds to then set us up for being able to contemplate with God about where we're at and what truly is. Allowing those good words to be placed in our mind will help us then not be distracted by all of the noise and all of the images and all of the thoughts that just run amok constantly up there in our heads. Well, what are these good words? Well, they can be words of scripture. That's the typical way it is done. Maybe it's poetry. Um, spiritual writings are a great way to go from spiritual uh, masters, from um, Dietrich Bonhoeffer to uh, Thomas Merton. Or you can go back to uh, some of the great uh, writers of the first centuries. Um, there's often a lot of great things to look at there. But whatever the words are, they're going to be words that ground you in what really is. And see, in the midst of anxiety and, and despair, emotions going all over the place, feelings trying to grab a hold of us, we often lose sight about what really is. And in contemplation, we want to get back to that. So again, you know, what words? Where do we get these words of scripture? Well, they can be Bible passages from a daily devotional. 
maybe there's a reading chart that you use and, and what is the, there's a daily lectionary for instance. And so what's the readings for today and, and which of those readings am I gonna dwell upon? Generally, you wanna pick words that are, are more wisdom literature, probably something more from the Psalms um, or from uh, um, you know, a, a place that lifts up ideas. Sometimes Paul's letters are a great place to be, um, maybe more so than the gospels, but, but that's not necessarily the case, but it's something for you to think of. And then of course, maybe there's a spiritual writer that you've been engaging in and, and um, you might wanna use those words or maybe the a daily devotional. But before you get to it, you need to prepare your body before you prepare your mind. And so allow yourself to find a place where you can be quiet, where there's no distractions um, or the distractions are minimal. Or if there are distractions that you're taking something like a, lighting a candle or maybe a favorite image of, of, of Christ or an icon, um, that you can maybe look at to, again, help clear your mind. Your posture can be um, a great help too in this. Um, you don't have to, but maybe you sit straight um, as you do this practice of Lexio Divina. And then once your body is ready, you can engage in the practice. And the first step is you read it. You read that passage. You don't generally want it to be too long, but uh, I mean, it can be, but just read it, read it slowly. If you're in a place that allows you to read it aloud, read it aloud and maybe even repeat it. Um, but just bring those words into your mind and then meditate on them. What's the difference between meditation and contemplation? Contemplation is that empty screen. <laughs> Um, where, where there's nothing except, again, being focused on what is. In meditation, you're quiet and still, but you've placed something. You can meditate on that candle or, or that icon that you've placed in front of you. We are meditating on the words that we just read. And, and a way I like to do this in Lexio Divina, I do it on my own and I do it when I'm in groups, is I give you the, the task of selecting a word or a, a phrase within that reading that really stands out for you. And maybe just run that phrase through your mind, meditate on that phrase, okay? And then you pray. So how does that phrase, how does that word connect with whatever is the situation you find yourself in today? Um, and, and, and pray to God, Lord, you know, um, help me uh, with this, or Lord, you know, open my eyes and my mind to this idea. You can say it aloud, or it can be in your mind, but you actually communicate to God, um, again, influenced by the word or phrase that you've selected, which then leads you then to the contemplate. Then you're still. And you see what comes. <laughs> and that's it. Lexio Divina. So let, let's, let, let's just try it with a passage. This is a passage, a, a quote. Usually, I, almost always, it's scripture that I would do this practice with. But, but recently, I, I did a sermon where I made, shared this quote from Henry Nouwen's uh, Life of the Beloved. And I think it's a good quote for this purpose here today. So I'm going to use this bit of spiritual writing as a Lexio Divina, all right? And the way it would work is once you've prepared your body, you go ahead and read the text. Self-rejection is the greatest enemy of the spiritual life because it contradicts the sacred voice that calls us beloved. Being the beloved constitutes the core truth of our existence. So there's the reading. 
And at that point, you know, what is the word or phrase that may stand out for you? Well, it might be self-rejection. Mm. Sacred voice. That's a great phrase. I think, you know, again, there's no right answers, but, but the word beloved <laughs> ends up being very important here. And what is meant by beloved? That means you are loved by God. Your identity, our identity is first and foremost above everything else is you're one who is loved by God. You are beloved. Being the beloved constitutes the core truth of our existence. Wow. And again, contemplation is about getting to that what really is. And there's nothing that is more really is than the fact that you and I are the beloved. So that's a pretty good place to, uh, to meditate. Beloved, you are the beloved. And again, you just go along with this and, 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 and maybe it's a few seconds, maybe it's a few minutes, but you just sort of rest at it until you're ready. You know, you're thinking about that, you're meditating on it and you're ready to pray. Oh Lord, I so often fall into the trap of, of self-rejection. And, and, and the voice I hear isn't your sacred voice, but it is the voice that says I'm not good enough, that I fall short, that I'm nobody. And so, oh Lord, help me. Help me to know that I am your beloved. Help me to know that your loving gaze has never left me and your faithful love has always been with me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. How's that? <laughs> and then you be. And, and we're back to that empty, uh, let's just go. We're, we're back to this now. But, but you've now gone through a process that your mind has been fed through the words, through the prayer through the meditation in something that's real. And, and, and unlike just turning the lights off, you know, and turning the sound off and all right, now go to it. You've really come to a point where, wow, this can be very powerful. And you give it 30 seconds, you give it five minutes, you give it 10 minutes, whatever it takes. And that's Lexio Divina. Um, you know, Read, meditate, prayer, contemplate. Um, you may close with the Lord's Prayer. You know, if you want some sort of closure, um, thank you, God, maybe a blessing. Um, but, but it's been good. Maybe you journal afterwards. Maybe you've, been, you've heard something from God in that contemplation and, and you want to write it down. Maybe it continues on to that. The beautiful thing about prayer in this way is it's, it's as much or as little as you need it to be that, at that moment. God meets you right where you're at and has always met you right where you're at. But again, just to tackle, okay, but where do I get these readings? What, where do I get them? And, and again, this very day, you can go on your phone, you can download apps that are free, Daily Lectio um, is from uh, dailylectio.net. It uses the daily lectionary that, that we use in the Lutheran church. Download that and you'll have different lessons every single day that actually end up tying in um, with the, uh, um, the lesson for Sunday. Um, so that can be a beautiful resource. Another one, this is from more Episcopalian sources, but day by day, just great stuff. Daily just devotions daily readings um, um, that are there. It's from, you know, from forward movement in the Episcopal Church. Bible Gateway is the free um, online and app with different Bible translations. Every day they have a daily verse. It is brief. It is always a gem. And maybe that's it, one verse that you meditate on. Um, there's an app I like. I don't use them a lot, but I, I think this is a great app. It could be the 
source of a real good daily practice. And that's called Common Prayer for Ordinary Radicals. Um, it's based on a book. You can buy the book too, 500, 600 pages. Um, Shane Claiborne is a, a, a former, more evangelical who is, uh, who has, um, you know, um, kind of changed his tunes from, from some of the classic evangelical tunes and um, really is quite a uh, uh, advocate of the practice of, of these things and prayer and, and with God. Great resources are found there. I don't have an app, but you can get sign up for daily emails. Come in every morning from the Moravian Daily Text. Dietrich Bonhoeffer used Moravian Daily Text in his own devotions. Um, just a great way to have uh, uh, several brief Bible lessons just be given to you every day. You can use our red hymnal, the Evangelical Lutheran Worship. It has the daily lectionary there. Go ahead and use that. Um, if you need a copy, we can get you a copy. Um, so maybe you don't want the phone, you can use something like that. Or just the devotional, Christ in Our Home. Maybe it is the actual devotion you use, you can. Or it's the Bible reading that goes with it. Um, but, but again, that's a great source as well. But whatever it is, the point of prayer and the practice of prayer is to be in this interactive relationship with God. And so to, to do that with this technique, it can be very exciting, very exciting. And, and God can't wait to go ahead and do this with you. And now our blessing from Psalm 134. Oh, come and bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, who stand by night in the house of the Lord, lift up your hands to the holy place and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, he who made both heaven and earth. So be at peace, Christ is with you. Thanks be to God.